In this video, I'm going to show you a tool which you can use for the lock camera. Suppose your camera is locked and you are working on a film. Now you cannot even change a minor detail of the camera if the camera is locked and the camera is finalized. And your character is very far in the shot, just the way we are having here for an example. And you are animating the shot, you are animating the character. Now you want to check whether that character is animated properly or not. So if it is zoomed out, now this is the camera lock. If I do anything into the camera, you cannot get back the camera again and also that will change your whole film thing which is not recommended so what are you going to do to actually see whether the animation is correct or not by going inside the camera without affecting any of the values of camera so let me just share first see the camera the camera is locked if you see here translate xyz rotate xyz everything is locked scaling is on now if I have to see this character into the camera, even when the camera is locked. Now, if I have to see the character into the camera, even when the camera is locked, I will press this forward slash key. It is just below the backspace key and then right mouse click to zoom in and middle mouse click to pan the zoomed camera. Can you see here? I am able to zoom into that particular character and my camera is not not at all affected if you see here it's still locked and there is nothing changed now again how do you get back from this you don't have to render the file like this this is the wrong way of rendering the file what will what will happen is you will only have this thing rendered which is wrong you need to render your actual camera now you are altering the camera view this is what we call as 2d pan zoom this is the shortcut which i mentioned or else what you can do is here there is an option of 2d pan zoom can you see here below lighting there is a tool a magnifying glass and there is an arrow key like this up and side arrow that is the 2d pan zoom if i just click back you will get your normal position recovered can you see this this will help you a lot in your production work typically it will not help in the assignments because assignments generally we do it in perspective if you are working on a film any of the project this tool will help you a lot to work on the details the minor details which are not visible in the camera from the far angle but you can zoom in and actually see what is going wrong and what you need to correct or follow the arcs and everything in your camera i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel for receiving all the tutorials all the updates about 3d animation if you really want to become an animator type animator in the comment section so see you soon in the next video